Hello Rovers, in today's video guide, I'm going to show you how to build your Chinchi and which way she fits in every team setup. Um, as for her weapon, I use her R1 weapon, and then for Echo Set, I am using crit rate, crit damage in all the pieces, and if you're aiming for a third one, that I, I suggest the third one will be resident skill damage. So, these are your primary focus, crit rate, crit damage is your number one focus. If you get high rolls on crit damage, it would be really good. Followed by crit rate and resident skill damage. And then for her character skills, Resonance Skill, Forte Circuit are your main priority. Those are really, really good. Resonance and Normal Attack, then Intro. And then for her copies, um, I think S1 is the best. S2 just gives you a head start at the beginning of every match, but it only works out of combat, so it's not that amazing. Um, the best one's probably like S6, but hey, we're not going that far to, into Jinshi yet. So this specific party setup is if you want to buff Jin C to overkill E skill. So um, Tao Chi's role is pretty much resident skill damage, uh, nothing too special. And Verenia's role is to be the coordinated attacker, which will regen um, Jin Chi's forte skill. And I will talk about that later. So for the loadout of Tao Chi, you must have Discord because Tao Chi suffers from Concentro energy regen. And then for her set, you want Moonlight set. And we'll do this combo real quick and then we'll move on to the next team. Which is uh, teaching you how to build, how to get your Concerto energy insanely fast with other characters. So these are ults, these are E, and then and the swap to Chinchi, press E twice on Chinchi, and then press left click spam, and then press Q and E. And we got, boom, 396 damage though. So. And that should be it for that burst combo. So one of the biggest weaknesses of Jinshi is her forte gauge refills way too slow if you do not have a battery or coordinated attack unit. So the coordinated attack units, the best ones are Yuan Wu, Yin Lin, and Mortefi. Um, but I think Yuan Wu and Mortefi are the better ones. Mortefi probably has a little bit better because at S6, Mortefi does give attack percent and his battery is his ultimate, while Yuan Wu, his battery skill is the E skill. So every time I press this E skill, once this field is up, it doesn't matter who's hitting the boss or what level they are. They could be level 1 like I have, and they could be regenerating Jinshi's bar instantly. So by the time this bar expires like that, you're, you're going to be full bar with Jinshi like, all over. And you would be ready to swap in and out again. So this is what I actually did to clear some of the higher level bosses with just Jinshi and level 1 Yuan Wu. Let me go ahead and do the Thundering Mephis and show you guys the regen of um. Alright, so let's do it. We're gonna use our skill. One more. Dodge this. Dodge this. And then E, R. I mean Q, R, then E. And then you'll see at the bottom that our gauge feels extremely slow, right? This should be like without any thing. So there's one way to build this bar up in like within seconds. And that is using Yuan Wu's totem skill, which we are gonna use right now. So press it. totem and then now look at our bar. Look how fast our bar goes up. With just one totem. And now we could like probably burst this E again. Boom. And then once again, back to Yuan Wu. Use our ult, set down the totem, and then back to Jinshi. You could also use a different DPS. You could even use Yuan Wu. You, level 1 Yuan Wu can build, actually build this gauge if you want. Alright, one more. Oh, I missed. Alright though. We said turtle. Oh, I didn't miss that. And then Gage is going to be full soon. And then we get a full combo. And then here we go. I guess I'll wait for my Echo skill. R. Then Q. And then E. And then back to Totem. Watch your Gage go up instantly fast. So another character you can do this with is Mortefi. And Mortefi is probably slightly easier because Mortefi's ultimate actually um, 
home home seeks on the home seeks were I forgot it's like a missile seeking, so a little bit easier. All right, let's let's actually use one more E and then we'll move on to the next part of the video. All right, let's get this boss. Come on. Alright, so we use their skill, and then we use our E, and then we swap to Mortefi. Alright, we, all we need is Mortefi's ult. Once we have Mortefi's ult, the coordinate attacks will work. It doesn't even need to be Jinshi main DPS. You can just keep DPSing on, you know, Mortefi you want, and the gauge will be built, see? Her gauge is still going up, even even if um, our Mortefi is only level 40. As long as we have that mark, and then we're almost full gauge right here. All right, so it did expire, but you know what? We'll just trigger it. E and E, and then dodge. And then we get it, E. Then once again, build the gauge back on Mortefi, E, R. We just need to, and then back to Jinshi. And probably ultimate. And then Q, E. And E, and still building our gauge, so it goes up pretty fast as long as we have Mortefi's passive going. That's still going up. Mortefi's passive is about to expire, I think. And look, it actually gave us almost a full gauge. Very, very interesting, right? And then now we can actually trigger the E skill again, and then we rotate back to Mortefi. And same thing once again. Once your ult's up. Use the ult, then swap back to Jinshi, and do your full combo on Jinshi as much as you can. Even if you miss attacks, Mortefi is does homing. Her coordinated attacks is homing, so it's actually insane. So not too bad, right? Mortefi also works as a, um, a battery recharger unit for her Jinshi skill. So if you ever have trouble, if you ever have trouble like with her forte gauge like going up too slow, you can do that. Also, for more team setup, I believe I, I really like Verena as the uh, the second one because she buffs a lot, and then you can probably have like Mortefi for the double coordinate attack and just main DPS Shinshi. You can have uh, Yuan Wu as a battery, or you can have no battery and just use the coordinate attack from Verena's ult, which means um, Jinshi's thing might load. A little bit slower but you will get the insane damage boost from as you saw in the first part of the video and then you can use yinlin yinlin also does coordinate attack um yinlin doesn't really benefit other than coordinate attack and increasing jinshi's ultimate so there's not too much on that unless you have s4 of her increase a little bit of attack but if you want huge numbers definitely go with tauchi but you don't always need to have Jinshi as the main DPS. Let's say you want to use Jinshi as a sub DPS. You could do Danjin and then have Verena and then have um, Jinshi as a sub DPS. So, and Verena can be replaced with any of the batteries, uh, such as um, Yuanbu, Mortefi, uh, Baiji, and all that. So, probably Mortefi might be, might be good. So this way, when you have Mortefi out, when you have Mortefi out, you can use your main DPS if your dungeon is like higher level or you're like Kalcharo is higher level. And every time Kalcharo attacks, as long as you have Mortefi's ult while Kalcharo attacks, Jinshi is constantly regening her forte gauge. So by the time you swap to Jinshi, she will she will be able to use her super E skill again. So this would be the the DPS. Battery and sub DPS Jinchi build, but I like using her as a main DPS, so I think that's pretty much it. You can just uh, go with any team setup you want as long as you add the battery. The most important thing about this video guide is the coordinate attack and how it affects how how fast her stuff regens, as you saw in the in the previous one. If you ended up finding this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I am streaming on Twitch daily and I hope to see you there as I am giving away battle passes all week long. 
Other than that, this is your brother, Stubberoo, out.